Hello, my lovelies. Elsie here with your sneak peek for this week. My friends, this is going to be energy for this week. No matter when you find this, it will always be for the next seven days. What is it, Elsie? I just got here. What is the sneak peek? Well, I do read for all of the signs. So all the way from Aries to Pisces, I mark everything down in the description below. So you can just scroll the video to find what you need in terms of your sun, moon, and rising. I'm just going to ask you to please, please, please stop watching tarot for just your sun sign. You don't have the, the full picture if that's what you're doing. And um, come back with your moon and your rising. Natal charts are free everywhere. So let's get to it. Let's figure it out. We're going to start with Aries. Aries, thank you so much for, for clicking here. Thank you so much for all of your clicks, your likes, and your shares. It makes a difference in growing this tribe. You have a bonus reading coming up this week. Thank you so much for all of your clicks and your views. And you know what? My analytics are still telling me that some of you come by here and you give me the clicks and the views, but you haven't subscribed. So if that is your intention, it does help this tribe grow. Thank you for doing that. All right, here we go, Aries. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. This is your sneak peek for this week, Aries. Let's figure it out. What's going on for Aries this week, please? Sneak peek for Aries. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. You're cross-watching Aries. Thank you. All right. We've got the Knight of Wands. We've got the Seven of Wands, the Ten of Pentacles all in the upright. For those of you who are listening and not watching. What else do we have for Aries? We have the Four of Cups. We have the Six of Cups. Interesting. Aries, if you decide that you're going to send a message this week, it ends up in 10 cups, I'm telling you. If you are the person who is, is pondering that this week, it is going to, to end up in the 10 cups. Um, we have the Knight of Wands. Now, look, the Knight of Wands is facing into the past, and I'm not, I'm not going to ignore it, right? <laughs> um, it, it's facing into the past, and so I feel like in the past that maybe that, there, um, that you might be going back to get somebody from the past for some of you. Um, I think it's going to be an impulsive decision, Aries. I feel like you are about to take the higher ground on some sort of an abundant connection. The Ten of Pentacles is here, and we have Six of uh, Cups, which tells me that you've known this person for a long time, or possibly they are someone who is someone that you've been with for lifetimes. I want to say that you either have known each other as children or... In the past life, you were brother and sister, or you were you were soulmates, whatever it was. You were soulmate friends, soulmate family, and I think that's why you still have that connection to this day. The Four of Cups tells me that you have been, I feel like you've been in this energy of not really knowing what to do, not really knowing whether you want to share your feelings with this person from the past. I feel there's going to be a reunion. We've got three cups here. Uh, we've got one cup that is empty. So I want to say that if you are a person who is in a relationship right now, it's a relationship that possibly isn't working out for you. The ace of cups is empty. The three cups are here. And as it is um, with the, the knight of wands, I, I feel like you are going to go to the past, take the higher ground. I feel like you want a reunion with someone. I feel like the energy you're in right now with the Ace of Cups, I feel is boring you, to be honest. Yeah, I feel it is boring you. I feel like it's not for you. You might stay busy, Aries, in order to... Yeah, the, the Two of Pentacles is looking over at the Four of Cups. I feel like you stay busy in order to avoid the boredom or in order to avoid that the Ace of Cups is empty. So for some of you, it could mean that you're in a relationship that you're not happy with and that you would like this reunion with somebody from the past. For others of you, you're in this energy of being bored. It's kind of redundant energy. You're kind of over the party phase. You're not really sure what it is that you want, but wherever it is right now, I feel like you're not happy there. I feel like you do keep busy to try and keep in balance. You do keep busy in order not to be bored. But I feel like in the back of your mind is the Six of Cups. I feel like you can't stop thinking about the abundance of this soulmate connection, whether that is love or uh, not. We have uh, the Page of Wands in the future. Page of Wands is telling me that you're about to send a message. Look at that. I can't even write it. You are about to send a message, my friend. We've got the Page of Wands and now the Lovers. I feel like there is either a message coming into you from this person or you are sending a message to this person. 
If you are the empress, you're likely waiting for it. The empress doesn't chase. We have the high priestess. I want to say that you've been keeping quiet about something. You've been keeping quiet about wanting to give reciprocity to somebody. I feel like there is an age difference. There could be an age gap here between you and them. That might be why you haven't you haven't gone back to get them just yet. Tell me about the Knight of Wands, please. I feel like back there, Aries, that you weren't very stable. You may have been in a position where it was sort of, there was no stability. Uh, you were trying to follow your heart or follow your passion. Uh, but I feel like there was no stability back there. Tell me about the Knight of Wands. <laughs> the Page of Wands comes out. You are sending a message to someone from the past. And uh, it is someone that I feel that you're eager to see. I can't. I can't even. <laughs> the two of cups just came out. You are sending a message to this person here, the star. This is somebody here, uh, Aries, who is who is someone that that you see as the brightest star, someone that you see as the brightest star in the room. When they walk in the room and they light up the room, that's what it feels like. They are your wish fulfillment. I can't ignore that it's, you know, the... I had it like this and that there was the masculine looking at the star. So I, I feel like you are sending a message to someone that you have much love for. Tell me about the Six of Cups, please, for Aries. For this sneak peek for this week, for Aries, please. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Yeah, you're charging in, my friend. Something has ended and it's it's likely that you want to reconnect with someone else. Now, I just want to say that the person from the past... I feel is the person that you want. I feel that they are a soulmate. I feel that with the cancer energy here and and the um, the chariot that you're about to get in your vehicle and go. I think though that you are going to be ending something with somebody here. And I don't think it's the soulmate. I think that you had to end something with someone else first or you will have to. The death card is here and it's transformational energy. It's like a realization. You've had a realization that there's somebody here that you would like to reconnect to. Yeah, I think it's it comes out of, I feel like this, this soulmate person, the reason that there is a separation is because there was something really specific that you two could not agree on. It feels like it was very an unstable time back there. And I feel like you're reconnecting here. You may have had some words with this person. There may have been words. There may have been un irreconcilable differences. Maybe this person is someone that you weren't necessarily agreeing on things with. Yeah. So uh, we have the Scorpio here. We have Scorpio energy. We have Cancer. Um, we have uh, Fire energy here. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I think you're going to take the higher ground. But I, I want to say that in the past, you may have stood your ground uh, with this soulmate. And I feel as well that you you knew back then that this soulmate was your Ten Pentacles. You knew it back then. But you never took you never took charge of the situation. I feel like you're ready to take charge. It is the Emperor that's in the chariot, right? So I feel like you're ready to take charge of the situation. Dear Emperor, I feel like something has ended and so you will be traveling somewhere possibly. Maybe you have to travel to see this person. Um, maybe you'll be going on a trip with this person. But I feel like uh, after an ending, there is going to be a reconnection with this person. You haven't spoken with them in a while. They're, the Hermit is here, Virgo energy. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you two may have worked together. Or you know each other from the Pentacle world. Um, and maybe you've been working on yourself really hard while you've been in Hermit mode as well. You're about to get some karmic justice, my friend. This is the week. Look, we've been creepy crawling up to this up to this crescendo for a long while Aries I feel like you're about to end something with someone else so you can be with the soulmate the ten of pentacles is the realization and you've stood your ground long enough it's time to take the higher ground I feel like you're going to the past to to get somebody there all right tell me about Taurus please Hello, Bo Gang. How are you? Thank you so much for clicking here. Thanks for all the ways you love me on this channel. I appreciate you. Of course, if you're interested in a private read, please look in the description. There is a, a link to Wizio. Look below this video. Click on the More link, and it will open a panel. You will see the link to Wizio and my email address. All right, Taurus, here we go. This is you for this week. Sneak peek for this week for Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. 
talk about Taurus. It's coming up for Taurus this week, please. We've got the Seven of Cups. Taurus, you know exactly what you want. Or someone else does. Take it as it resonates. Let's take a look further. Seven of uh, Cups in the reverse is no longer, no longer um, being confused, seeing through the illusion. I pick you is what I hear when this card comes out. We have the Page of the page of swords is in the reverse. So it's just checking the deck to make sure it's not upside down. And it's not. The page of swords is here in the reverse, which means that you're no longer going to be watching somebody. I feel it's time to talk to them. But you're scared. <laughs> I feel like there has been someone who's been watching you or you've been watching another. Take it as it resonates. I feel that you pick them. The devil is here uh, throwing a little bit of fear, doubt. Um, hmm, oh, yes, a little bit of seduction almost. It feels like a seductive energy. It feels like you're calling something in. And I don't think it's in a bad way. Um, but I feel that there is fear and doubt and, you know, feeling like you're not enough, feeling like it's way bigger than you are. You're not sure if this is something that that is going to scare the hell out of you. Yeah, it feels looming is what it feels. It almost feels like you've picked someone or someone's picked you, Taurus. There is a page of swords in the reverse, which tells me someone is no longer watching online. Someone has decided that they're going to come forward. They have enough information, right? This is the student. This person has enough information, and now they feel like they need to speak with you in order to get the rest of the information. Because whatever they're seeing online, I feel like that they're watching you, but they're unsure about what's going on with you because you've either locked them out of your profile or maybe you're just putting up certain certain stories and they just are not sure what's going on with you. So I think someone is about to approach you. It may be the King of Wands. The King of Wands in a general reading is Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries. And the King of Wands is the one who is taking inspired action. So I feel like the King of Wands picks you, Taurus. We have the moon, but you don't see it coming, my friend. The thing is, is you feel it, Taurus. I was just saying this to someone in a private reading the other day. Um, she, you know, my customer was saying, what, do my, what am I feeling? <laughs> because I feel something coming, Taurus. I think it's a collective energy. We do feel something coming. It's time for the payout. It's time for the Dharma payout. I feel like whatever you have been manifesting, for some of you, not all of you, of course, because not all of you are ready or have done the work. But for those of you who have done the really hard work on yourselves, um, I feel like... You don't see it coming, but you feel it coming. Things are not as they, as they seem right now, Taurus. Someone has already chosen you, but you don't know that. And I feel like there is something going on in the background that you don't see. And it sort of is giving you a little bit of fear or anxiety or, you know, that feeling in the pit of your gut where you know something's about to go down. It feels like a moment before you go on stage or give a... Um, um, a keynote address. Do you know what I mean? Speaking in public, it feels like that kind of a feeling. That kind of nervousness. Woo, Taurus. This could possibly be the work, be, be the week where it all goes crazy. <laughs> where it all goes off the off the off the edge here. So we have um the wheel of fortune, right? These are fortunate changes. Now, Taurus, be aware that when you ask for something, the universe must construct or find a way or start to put things in order. I'm seeing blocks being built in my head, uh, blocks, and I feel like all of the blocks need to be in place. All of the puzzle pieces need to be in place. In order for you to get what you want, things have to change. That means if you're in a relationship and you've asked the universe for someone else, that relationship's going to end. If, you know, there's so many different things and changes that are coming up. I want to say that if you, if this person, the king of wands, is someone from the past, Taurus, this person has changed. <coughs> this person has changed a lot. And they're willing to change some more. I feel like they are coming in. And the Wheel of Fortune is ushering them in. So I feel like they are. It is a fated time for you to meet this King of Wands. It is a fated time for this King of Wands to come back, if that's the case for you. Um, but this, uh, the Wheel of Fortune here is telling me that it is time for fortunate things to happen. It's fated. Uh, we do have um, divine timing here. So for some of you, it's this week. You're going to get the communication. You might see the King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands doesn't have to be Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. 
could be a water sign that acts like a fire sign. They could have fire in their moon or their rising. Take it as it resonates. We have Pisces and Cancer energy here. We also have Capricorn. We have Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, and Leo energy. All the fixed signs. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune, please, for Taurus. What is the Wheel of Fortune bringing to Taurus? It's bringing back someone, Taurus, I know you don't want to hear it, but somebody here has turned themselves around. The person who has walked away in the past, I feel, is walking back, and now they want to invest in you. You can be as mad as you want when someone turns away, but if they're not ready for you, they're not ready for you. And should they, if they would have stayed when you wanted them to stay, it would have crashed and burned. It wouldn't have worked out. It wasn't divine timing. I feel like whoever is coming back, Taurus, is somebody who um, is ready to invest or begin brand new. They're ready to walk through this gate with you. This uh, We've got a, a pot of gold here. It feels like everything is, it's, it's something that's going to change your life. For some of you, it's money. Like the Wheel of Fortune and the Ace of Pentacles is a bag of money being dropped on your head. So if you bought, if you bought a, uh, uh, some sort of a, a ticket for the lottery, I feel like for some of you, you could get a small payout. Or this could be, um, yeah, I think, it's, I think that the King of Wands might be showing up financially set. That could be it as well. But we do have the Wheel of Fortune on the Ace of Pentacles. And it is divine timing. It is fated that this king comes back for a conversation. Wow. Wow, 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 Taurus. What is this conversation? What are we going to talk about? We're going to talk about a new beginning. Yeah, we're going to talk about opening a new chapter. What's the new chapter about, please? Taurus, you don't see any of this, but you feel it coming. What's What do I feel coming, Elsie? It's somebody who felt like they gave up some really great opportunity. They ignored your cup. It's on the shelf. They never forgot it, but they are looking at their current situation. They're looking at the current situation, feeling like the odd man out, feeling like things maybe aren't going as well as they could. Uh, I feel like somebody is coming up with some information or has some knowledge. I feel like your uh, I feel like your person is bored, Taurus, wherever they are. I feel like they are looking at the two of cups with boredom. The party's over, you know, or maybe we're maybe we're out partying too much. There's a glass of wine there. Wow. Wow, 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 Taurus. There it is. It's a really big decision that you have to make. Taurus, this is somebody that you offered love to that said they couldn't get into a relationship or maybe they nothinged you. Look, to me, that's that's the four of cups. It's like this person's completely ignoring the cup that's on the shelf. And so I feel like somebody here could have completely ignored you. I feel like you're going to end up being in a position where you have to choose between two people. There's two people down here that you have to either choose for between two people or it's time to wake up. It's time to to reconcile. It's time to bring things together and and breathe life into it again. Um, I do feel like the king is the one that's coming back. And I think for some of you, it is this week. We'll take a, a We'll wait and see exactly what the um, the Taurus reading says for this week. All right, <clears throat> Gemini. Gemini, how was the full moon experience for you? Tell me. Tell me how it is. I hope it was pleasant for you. Thank you so much for clicking here. And thank you, thank you, thank you for all of the views of my last video. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for all your attention. I appreciate you, Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's take a look at what's coming up this week for you, Gemini. If you're interested in a private read, please look in the description, Gemini. There is room over at Wizio. My readings there begin at $40. Tell me about Gemini for this week. Sneak peek for this week, please. We have the King of Cups. All right. Tell me why we have the King of Cups. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Gemini, I think we've already talked about this, haven't we? There's a soulmate about, right? Yep. We have, look at that, justice. Oh my gosh. Look at that energy, Gemini. Look at that. Something is about to work out for you exactly the way you wanted it. You and this soulmate, we have, uh, we have the uh, queen who is Pisces. We have the king who is Scorpio. There is a psychic connection here. They are the psychic ones of the of the um, of the uh, zodiac, right? <coughs> now, 
The king and the queen recognize each other because they are mirror images, right? They hold the mirror up to each other. They reflect each other. So whether you are the feminine or the masculine, you are represented here. You could have Libra in the chart. Uh, I feel like, Gemini, you probably have water in the chart. And if you don't, I feel that the king and the queen are representative of people who are very much in love with each other. They mirror each other. They each understand the depth of love. So the king loves himself. The queen loves herself. I feel like the queen is is not having any luck finding anyone else, that you are their person, Gemini. So we could be dealing with Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer energy. We have Libra. Bottom of the deck, we have the King of Swords. So the King of Swords is the one who is ambitious, the one who's making big changes, the one who is seizing the moment, right? The one who is going to be direct and forceful as they arrive. I feel like um, the, the King being the energy that is masculine leaning i feel like it probably is the king that is that might be approaching maybe you're the king maybe you're the queen take it as it resonates tell me more about gemini this week you're about to get your justice and love here big time like off the chain big time this is this is a soulmate love a deep really deep and psychic soulmate love we have uh the eight of pentacles so you could have worked with this person, um, possibly met them in the workplace. Doesn't mean that you had to. The Eight of Pentacles is also about working on the self. So because it's coming up with the King and the Queen of uh, Cups, I feel like the King and the Queen have been separated. Maybe you work together and you no longer, or if you don't work together, I feel you both have separately been working on yourselves. And that's why I think you're coming up as the King and the Queen because you two both have an identical idea of what love is, how deep it is. But I want to say that if you are the masculine Gemini, you have not shown this person your feelings on the surface. But I think you're about to do that. We have the Four of Pentacles in the reverse, which tells me that you're about to be very vulnerable with someone. And I don't think you've been vulnerable with them before. I feel like you want to get justice, and I think you want to give this person karmic justice. Things are about to work out in your favor. We have the, the Knight of Pentacles. It's taken a long while. I don't think you've seen this person. I feel like you're parted from them. I feel like you're the one, if you are the masculine, you're likely the one who's about to move forward to someone else. I feel like there's been a lot of work that's taken place um, that you each have worked a lot. And I feel like that the king now is about to be vulnerable. Uh, Four of Pentacles in the reverse is I'm ready to share. I'm ready to be vulnerable. I'm ready to talk to you. I also feel like the king had to let go of the queen in order to understand how to get justice. You can't just stare this, this thing in the face and say, I want it, I want it, I want it, la, 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 I'm not listening. You kind of got to turn your back on it and do your thing, right? Fix yourself. Look, look inside yourself. Be emotionally available, emotionally aware. Um, and I feel like there is a psychic connection between the two of you here. So there's the Empress. There she is. She is the star of the show, and there is the death card here. We do have the Six of, of Cups here. So I feel like it's taken a long time, but I feel as though the Queen has probably turned into the Empress. So the Queen is is very much balanced in, in her life. Uh, she is um, the go-getter. She is the one who's deeply in love. Uh, she's also the one who speaks her mind. She's magic. She's holding uh, a wand. She's abundant. She's beautiful. We have the star, and I feel like she's manifesting you. I feel like if you, whatever you want, wants you, and I think that she's been manifesting you. We have uh, death here, and I feel like it's going to transform everything. I feel like whatever you don't need is about to be burnt away. I feel like it's been a very long time since you've seen each other, because the, when the Knight of Pentacles is involved, it can be at least a year, but it can be longer. And I feel like this, this Empress has never given up manifesting you, Gemini. And the Empress can be feminine or masculine. She has both energies as well. Take it as it resonates. But I feel like this is the week. That you are, yeah, that you get some balance with your soulmate. 
and the Knight of Swords is back. I really do feel like you're the one who's charging in because you're the you're in the swords. I feel like you're the one that's charging in to get this person. Yes, Sari. All right. Here we go, Cancer. This is for you, my friend. Thank you so much, Cancer, for your attention on my last video. Crazy. You guys are just giving me crazy great views. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I hope that you will. It's important that you do. It's how this tribe grows. Thank you for taking responsibility for, for growing the Cancer tribe. I appreciate you so, so much. You are my water friends. I'm a Pisces moon, so I get along, get on with a Cancer really, really great. We're very connected. All right, here we go. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, your sneak peek for this week, my friend. If you're interested in a private read, please look in the description. You will find a link to Wizio, where my readings begin at $40. We have the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. We have the Queen of Cups in the upright, and we have the Ace of Pentacles. Cancer, I think right now you are sort of investing in yourself. Yourself, uh, your pentacle world, I feel like you are a business owner, you're a real go-getter, and uh, I feel like you are making decisions about what to do financially. The queen of pentacles is in the reverse, and when the queen of pentacles is in the reverse, it could mean that maybe you've taken a hit financially, I mean this economy is crazy. But I feel like you're working on it. I feel like the Queen of, uh, oh, sorry, not the Queen of Wands, but the Queen of Cups is here. So I feel like intuitively you know what's coming up next. Cancer, I think you're the one, and uh, you know, if you're spiritual, you are. But if you aren't, you might be the one who considers it very lucky. But I feel like you're not lucky. I feel like you're psychic. And whatever is coming to you is something that you've been thinking about. And, you know, in, in thinking about it, asking the universe for for a long while. We have the Ace of Pentacles. And it feels like something is coming that it's about to change your life. Your money's about to get easier, Cancer. And um, I feel like it's there is some sort of financial freedom coming to you or you're about to make a really great deal or get a really great sponsor or a really great partner. And I think that you already know it. The Queen of Cups is here, who is Pisces, but also Cancer and Scorpio in this reading, in this general reading. We have the devil, but you're questioning yourself. <coughs> you're worried about it. You're questioning yourself. I think you're worrying about money. I feel like you maybe have gone through some sort of um, situation that has had a, a, a large financial impact on you. And I don't necessarily think it's negative. You could have just bought a house. You could have just bought a car. You know what I mean? It feels like you need to be careful with your money. So it feels like you've made a major purchase or the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse tells me that you are working on the self and that you are investing in yourself. Look, you're becoming the emperor. You And I know that the emperor is an Aries, but you can be the emperor. The emperor is an energy, right? Is an energy that any sign can be. You can be the leader, the one who steps forward, the conqueror. I think you're going to conquer this, this whole... Um, uh, financial thing if that's what it is for you but specifically I really do feel that the emperor is going to invest the emperor is is going to have an investment that you're worried about you're you're going to invest whether it's in a person or a business or a business partner take it as it resonates you are going to invest and for some of you you've already invested in yourself the emperor is looking over at the devil. It's like, I feel like I got the devil over my shoulder here. I want to say that there is something that is changing over this full moon for you. The full moon is throwing energy at you. You can see that energy being thrown at the emperor here. I feel like the this, this full moon here has thrown some energy at you and has made you want to get out there and do something that you've had on the back burner. Something that has been on the back burner that you've been scared of. I feel like you are going to invest in something here. Let's keep moving. We have the Knight of Pentacles. It's taken you a while to get to this spot. But I feel like it's very interesting because I feel like this, this knight has, has a weapon here, right? <laughs> has a scythe there. And I feel like this, this, this uh, is about to be cut out. I feel like, um, I feel like the, the Knight of Pentacles is about to cut out the devil. It's like you're going over the details. You're being very careful. I don't think that you have to worry about the devil energy is what I want to say. 
But I do think that sometimes you feel that it's luck, that you don't feel like you have brought it on. I want to tell you, you are the psychic friend. You are. You are the psychic friend. And I feel like if you've been feeling like inward, I feel like you are looking inward, maybe working on the self, working on your pentacles, but working on your 3D world, buying a house, buying a car. Like it feels like the reason the queen of pentacles is in the reverse is for a good reason. I feel like you're taking charge of your life here. Tell me what's been taking so long for Cancer. What's been taking so long? We have the Nine of Wands. We have the Justice card. And we have the Six of Swords. So it's you've been stuck. You've been in a place where you were stuck. It might be the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. Maybe you were stuck in this mode of, I'm not really sure what to do. Should I buy the car? Should I buy the house? Um, but I feel like turning into the emperor and investing, you're investing in something. You're you're either playing the stock market or you are um, investing in a home, something in your material world, something that is about to change your life. It's taken you a long time to make that decision because you were working from fear. And I feel like the fear was amplified because you are the water sign. So we have the nine of wands. You are the wounded warrior. And we have the, the justice card. Look, no more wounded warrior. Nope. I feel like you're getting justice here. You, there's no nothing left to fear. You've looked over all the details. You know what you're doing. You can be confident in where you're standing. Six of Swords, it's time to move on. We have uh, the Hierophant at the bottom of the deck and the Three of Cups. Look, you either want to have a reunion with a Taurus or it's time for you to start celebrating yourself as the leader, the spiritual leader. Look, you have to look inward Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, you look inward and you realize that you are the spiritual leader, that it's not luck. It's a path. It's a, it's a path that you have taken because you are the leader. Um, so for some of you, you might be having this uh, passionate reunion with, the, with, uh, with a Taurus possibly. But for others of you, I feel like you are on this brand new path that you're passionate about, that is happy, that is that is rejoicing, that that is spectacular. I think it's fun. And I think that you've realized that you're the person in charge because you're showing up as these two leadership signs, Aries and Taurus. And uh, I feel like this is the week that, that you either purchase the house. I feel like you're taking the... You're, you're taking the initiative to invest in something. What is that, please? Chariot, you're getting in your vehicle. There's you, Cancer. You're, you're going to move quickly on something here. We have the King of Wands. You're taking inspired action toward what? We have the Eight of Wands in the reverse. Because there's someone that you haven't spoken to or communicated with. Things have grinded down to a halt with somebody here. The Wheel of Fortune's here. You're not going to be stuck any any longer. You might be dealing with a, a Pisces. You might be dealing with a Sagittarius. And there's the Empress, Taurus and Libra. So we do have, um, we did see Taurus under here. And uh, we do have Libra here. So the Wheel of Fortune is here. These are, you're making so many changes, Cancer, coming up in, in this week. I feel like you're making so many changes all at once. It's like everything's starting to pour in. Uh, with the Wheel of Fortune. It's divine timing. It's a faded time. I feel like there's something that ground down to a halt and you're about to take inspired action. Get in your vehicle and take action on investing in someone. They could be another Cancer. They could be a Libra. They could be a Capricorn. We saw Taurus on the bottom of the deck. We saw uh, Taurus, Libra on the bottom of the deck. We also saw uh, Sagittarius and Pisces. Take it as it resonates. I feel like you're going to get somebody. I feel like you're settling your life. Like your life is going... You're on a life path now that you've always wanted and you're feeling very confident. I also saw the nine of pentacles um, at the bottom of this deck. So I feel like you're feeling very confident about where life is right now. And now you're at the nine of pentacles. You've got everything you need in your pentacle world. I feel like it's time to get that one pentacle and invest in someone. That's what it feels like. All right. Let's talk about you, Leo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's talk about Leo. Leo, this is your sneak peek for this week, my friends. Thank you so much for all of your attention on my videos. And uh, I appreciate you and how you're trying to help grow this Leo tribe. Thanks for doing that. 
Let's talk about Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. If you're interested in a private read, Leo, please look below in the description. Under this video, click the More link. You will see a panel that opens. My readings begin at $40. There's a link to Wizio in the description. Here we go. Tell me about Leo, please, for this week. Sneak peek for this week for Leo. We've got the full moon. <laughs> really? <laughs> All right, what happened around the full moon here? What's happening around the full moon for Leo? This, our full moon was yesterday, right? We're the 28th today. I think you're unlocking something here, Leo. We have the nine of swords. It's like you're, you're no longer worried about it. You're no longer thinking too far into the future or too far into the past. I feel like you've decided to live in the now and the now is the full moon. So we are right on the right timeline for you here. Tell me more about Leo. We have the Nine of Wands in the upright. So although you are the wounded warrior, now I want to say that you're exhausted. I feel that you're brave, but you're exhausted. I feel like you've been carrying around burdens or trauma for a long time, a very long time. And I feel like you're no longer willing to add to this Nine of Wands anymore. I feel like you're being brave, right? This is the person who's super brave. And the Nine of Swords in the reverse is about bravery. It's about deciding that you're not going to let something control you or your life any longer. And I feel like you're cutting things out or have cut some things out of your life, Leo, over this full moon or made the decision to do that. And I feel like it's leading to you to make some sort of decision here. To drop these burdens, I feel like you've decided to release whatever it is that you were carrying, releasing it to the moon, to the full moon energy. I love it. So I feel like what you're no longer scared of is the thing that was holding you hostage. I think it what was holding you hostage was your thoughts. Um, I feel like you were obsessively thinking about something over the full moon energy. The wanderer to me is sort of akin to the, the hermit in that this person is alone, right? But they are alone and they are trying to figure out their connection between themselves, the earth and the stars. They're trying to figure out where exactly it is that they belong in the whole in the whole scheme of things, it's a really deep thought process. And I feel like this is something that you've been wondering about for a long time. I want to say that over this full moon, if you haven't received this energy yet, that over this full moon energy in the next couple of weeks, I feel like you are going to realize what it is or who it is that you are and how you are connected to your stress levels, how you're connected to the moon, and how the moon actually plays a part in your stress levels. I feel like the Eight of Swords is a place where you keep yourself. Um, it's a self-imposed prison of the mind. So I feel like you're the overthinker. You could have air in your chart. We have the Knight of Swords, and I feel like you're going to go get something. I really feel like you're going to seize the day, right? Carpe diem. You're going to seize the day, seize the moment. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of a departure here. Let, tell me what that's about. I think you're about to be very honest and direct with someone. Tell me about this Knight of Swords, please. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow. And the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Interesting. What do we got here? Five of Swords. So more than one five for me as a reader is quick change. And I think you are the one who is about to make quick change. I think with the Five of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune that you are feeling disconnected or out of sorts. Uh, maybe you've been having financial issues. I feel like that's going to let up, my friend. We've got the Wheel of Fortune here, and the Wheel of Fortune is about things coming full circle. It's also about, um, the Wheel of Fortune is about things that are about to change. There's about to be some big changes here. We have the Ten Pentacles in the reverse, and I feel like that there is maybe some sort of a long-term relationship that you're giving up, that it's time for you to disconnect from a situation that does not serve you. We've got the Five of Swords here. I feel like there's someone here who is very hard on your mind. 
Yes, very hard on you. There is somebody in your life who you maybe are separated from and not yet divorced or someone, a relationship you used to be in. And I feel that that person has been hellish on your on your psyche, on your mindset here. We have the five of swords and the death card. I feel like you don't want to argue anymore. I just don't want to have to deal with people who are who who can't see my point of view. I feel like you've decided that you're going to end it. You're not going to speak to this person anymore. It feels like the full moon, as I'm looking at it out the window here as I read to you. Um, the full moon, I feel, is is uh, is something that is encouraging you to cut out whatever doesn't whatever doesn't uh, feel right. And for some of you, it could be um, it could be an empress. That you're cutting out. It could be somebody who, it, it could be an empress, it could be the magician. I feel like you feel that you have all the tools that you need to make a decision possibly about an empress. So whether that's a positive decision or a decision that you're going to cut them out, I feel like you've been in this gridlock with yourself or deadlock with yourself. Until you figure out that you're the magician, you can't have the empress. Maybe some of you are cutting out the empress. Take it as it resonates. Maybe the person you were in a relationship with is the empress. But there is a relationship here that's uh, that's going topsy-turvy. And I feel like you're the person who's decided to just stop communicating with this person. Yeah, I think that's just the decision that you're making. Tell me about this uh, full moon energy here. Six of Pentacles, the new moon, <laughs> and strength. Okay, so I feel like this is the time that you are supposed to be learning. It's a time of learning for you. The Six of Pentacles tells me that you're learning who you want to give reciprocity to. It feels like you're pulling things off the back burner. The new moon is here to give you strength. So coming up when the next new moon is, I feel like you're going to have the courage to do something. What is that? You're going to have the courage to change. So the universe is going to throw you a tower. There's going to be upheaval and change. Things will never be as they ever were. And I feel like you're ready for it, to be honest. We have the four of pentacles in the reverse. You're about to be very honest or forthcoming. You're about to be very vulnerable. Uh, about what? about your feelings and how overwhelmed you've been in this situation. It feels like you want to approach somebody and speak with them. The Ace of Pentacles is here. So I feel like you are investing in a conversation that makes you nervous, that's very emotional. I think that you're about to let your emotions out to somebody. The Tower is here, and I think it's coming on the heels of this full moon because it's time that you cut out what you don't need. You're no longer scared. And I feel like there is a relationship here that is... That is uh, the Ten of Pentacles, but it's in the reverse. The long-term relationship is over. But I feel like that's part of the change. So if you've been asking the universe to help you out, I feel like that's part of the change you have to endure. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune is about change, but fortunate change. Changes that may not look good on the surface right now, Leo, but they are coming up. <laughs> It's coming up aces for you. Look, you're the magician, right? We saw on the bottom of the deck, you're the magician. And now we have two aces. Once you realize you're the magician, you can have the new beginnings. You can have the investment. You can have the new beginning that um, that is is closest to your heart. It might be with a Taurus. It doesn't have to be. But I think you're finally getting into this, into this energy that is um, a leadership energy. That you're finally being the leader of your life. You're taking control of not only your spiritual life but taking control of things in the 3d as well because the hierophant shows up all right all right virgo here we go this is you sneak peek for this week virgo sun moon rising venus and jupiter thank you for the attention on my last video i appreciate you it's all up to you to grow that uh that part of the channel so it is what it is, and uh, thank you so much for your thumbs up and your comments. I appreciate you, all one of you that commented. <laughs> I really do appreciate you. Thank you for doing that. All right, let's take a look here. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, this is your sneak peek for this week, my friend. Sneak peek for this week for Virgo. We've got the Ace of Swords. There's going to be some sort of communication or conversation. It also could be like a moment of triumph or eureka. It's like a realization of some sort. Tell me more about Virgo. Virgo, if you're interested in a private read, please look in the description. You will see a link to Wizio. My readings there begin at $40. We have the Hierophant and the Emperor. What's going on here? <coughs>
It's a realization, Virgo, that you are the captain of the ship. Look, the Hierophant is someone who goes on, on a path, right? On a traditional path. They don't stray from the path. Once Taurus makes an idea or once they have an idea that they want to follow a certain path, there's nothing that will pull them off the path because they've thought about it really um, like you, gone over the details, thought about it really slowly, taken really small steps toward whatever it is that we want here. The emperor here is about to take charge of something here. So I feel like you could be maybe communicating with someone or you are the person who has had the realization. There may be a realization about a commitment or a realization about a Taurus, about a teacher. Maybe you've realized that you're the teacher. You are very spiritual, my friend. You're very spiritual, very deep, and you're a watcher. You don't always say something, but you're very much a watcher and a listener, right? Going over the details of everyone in the room. We have the seven pentacles. Something you're waiting on. We've got two swords. You're waiting because you're blocked. There's some disappointment here or heartbreak. We do have three swords. We've got seven pentacles, which tells me that you're waiting on some sort of a commitment. But I feel like if it is a commitment that you want from somebody, if we're talking about a love reading here, if you want a commitment from somebody, I feel like the emperor is the one who's going to step forward. And I feel like that's your energy, feminine or masculine, that you're the person that's in charge. Unless you're the empress, you're likely the one who is going to step forward. You're the one who has decided that you will, but I feel like it's it's heartbreaking. You've had a realization that you should step forward, but I, I don't know that that you'll do it right away. You're waiting because you feel stuck. Why are you feeling stuck? <clears throat> we have the five of wands. You're in indecision about what you want to do. Tell me more about the five of wands. What's the indecision about? About taking another path. You're at the crossroads of your life and it's time to make some big decisions about what you want to do. And I want to say you're a little bit frozen. Like you're kind of, you're feeling like you're not really sure what you should do. Um, the five and two is seven. It's standing your ground on something. The five is the indecision and the two is being at the crossroads. So it feels like you're about to make a decision about something, but you're kind of blocked um, at this moment. So I don't think you're going to be making it like this week. We have the 10 of cups, something that's going to make you ultimately happy. You're after, uh, some sort of a completion of happiness here, or you're waiting for the ships to come in. The three of pentacles, uh, sorry, the three of wands. So there's three more wands here. You want to speak with someone five and three is eight feels like things are about to move forward here. Tell me why you're stuck. Eight swords is in the reverse. Okay, so you were stuck, but you're no longer stuck. We have the eight and the two, which is 10, which is the end of the cycle. So I want to say that if it's this week that you might feel a little bit stuck, that you're still not sure what you want to do in terms of stepping forward, um, and making conversation. What's this conversation about? We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Ten of Pentacles, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So I really feel like you're going to speak to someone about some sort of a long-term relationship. The Wheel of Fortune is here, and so things are changing for you this week. And so you're going to have to kind of ride the wave, I'm going to say. You're going to have to be, you're going to have to surf the waves this week. I think you're going to have a lot of waves, and the Emperor doesn't like waves. The Emperor sort of rambles things, right? I'm going to run at it and do it the way I want to do it. But I want to say that the Wheel of Fortune is here saying, yeah, it's a good thing to do. Um, but I also feel like we have a bunch of wands here saying that you're waiting for a cycle to end so you can have some sort of happiness that you've been waiting for for a really long time. Um, and I feel like right now you are waiting, I want to say. I feel like the cycle of waiting or overthinking or being stuck or not moving is coming to an end this week. And the Wheel of Fortune is here. And I want to say it's time to move on. So I feel like you need to move on from something that was a long-term relationship. And um, the Eight of Wands tells me that possibly uh, what's coming in is 
that information. I feel like you're going to have a conversation with someone. You're going to take charge. You're going to have a conversation with someone telling them it's the end of something. That's what it feels like. The Wheel of Fortune is changing. And what's changing is the Ten Pentacles, the long-term relationship or your abundance. We have the Two of Pentacles. You need to make the decision to do it. I feel like you, it's like, oh, I'm just too busy, Elsie. But I think that you're not too busy. I really think that you're stuck, that you're scared, that you're worried, that you're up in your head. I feel like as you, as you uh, move into the week after this week, I feel like you realize that it's up to you to make the decision, right? We have five wands here. It's indecision about the Ten of Cups. We have the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like you're telling someone that you're no longer interested in being in this relationship and that it's time to move on. I think that's the change. Um, but I feel like you're going to keep in balance. I feel like there's a new relationship coming in, though. Once you decide to end the cycle of, you know, being still and stuck and not moving anywhere, I feel that the Emperor energy allows you to step forward to your Empress. There it is. So I feel like that there's a relationship here that never was working out, that was really stressful and not working out, and you've ended that, or you will be ending that this week in favor of finding your soulmate, your true soulmate here, the Emperor and the Empress. All right. Okie doke. Let's talk about Libra. Libra, this is yours. This is your sneak peek for this week. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Thank you for all of your attention on my last video. I appreciate you so much. And if you're interested in a private read, please look below in the description below this video. Click on the more link. My readings over at Wizio begin at $40. Here we go, Libra. What's coming up this week for you? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Libra. All right, we got you up in your head here. Wouldn't be unlike you to not make a decision about something. <laughs> I'm just poking fun. <laughs> you know that you will do whatever you can, whether it's good or bad for your future, in order to keep everything balanced in your life. Sometimes you just won't say a thing. Feels like you can't make a decision about something. Tell me more about Libra. It feels like you do want some justice here as it pertains to something that you've been thinking about for a while the moon energy is here there's something it feels like it's uh it feels like shadow work to me to be honest it feels like um it feels like libra that you've been doing a lot of shadow work you have yourself you've put yourself in this place of not really knowing what to do feeling like your hands are tied feeling like you're the person like the odd man out and you can't make the decision i feel like you're going to get out of that the uh uh, there you are right there. I feel like you're going to get out of this eight because eight and the one that the that the uh, justice holds is nine. They both have blindfolds on. I'm just saying. We have the moon energy here, which tells me that there is something here that isn't as it seems. There is something here that is stuck in the moon energy, Pisces and um, and Cancer energy. I feel like there is something here that's making you super emotional. It's highly emotionally charged, and that is why you are not making a decision right now. I feel like this full moon here that we just went through is, is something that is pulling you out of this inability to make a decision. There is going to be um, a balance here. You're going to strike some sort of a balance, but you must make a decision about something. You have to get out of the Eight of Swords in order to move to justice in order to get some sort of karmic justice. Tell me what's coming up here for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. All right. So you are um, you're making a decision about a soulmate. And I think that you've been waiting on this soulmate to make a decision for you. Uh, the thing is, this is if it almost feels like you're in some sort of a relationship and maybe it's uncertain. Maybe we're not certain as to where it's going. The Eight of Swords is here. It's like everything we want to talk about is in the moon energy. Somebody's concealing it. It could you could be dealing with Pisces or Cancer, 
but uh, we got Gemini here as well, but somebody is concealing it. Look, Gemini full moon, right? So some, something is being concealed or someone you're dealing with is not being completely forthright with you, not being completely honest, hiding things from you and you can feel it. And I feel like in order for you to be able to get your justice, you need to stop waiting for this person to make a decision and you need to make a decision about um, about this situation. Now, I think it involves a soulmate or a lover or someone you're deeply connected to. And so I think that's why you're waiting to make the decision. You're waiting for this other person to make a decision, but it's always been with you, Libra. You know, you don't, you don't ever have to wait for someone to choose you. You don't ever have to wait to be the second choice. You can do whatever you want. You're the one that's in charge. You're the one that's in charge of your life. So you need to get out of the Eight of Swords and decide what you're doing instead of waiting for the soulmate to make a decision. It feels like two people are maybe separated or we're kind of on again, off again. I'm not really sure what we're doing here. And you're letting them do it. Like, it feels like you're... You're allowing them to do it when you're the one that is the confident one. You're the one that takes care of yourself. You don't need this person. You don't need this soulmate. Look, we have so many soulmates in this life. We come here in clusters. There's no point in getting stuck on one. There's many soulmates in this life for you. And I know this one is probably the most beautiful, the most sexy or whatever it is that's attracting you to them that you can't let go of them. And it is hard, really hard to let go of a, of a soulmate. But I want to say with the Nine of Pentacles, I feel like you are the person who's taking care of yourself. You don't really need anything. You don't need anything in your pentacle world. You make your own money. You pay your own mortgage or your own rent. Or, you know, I feel like you're you're taking care of all of your physical needs by yourself. And it gives you a, a, a kind of confidence that, no, I don't really need this person. So I feel like you're waiting for someone else to make a decision about you. But I think it's you that needs to make the decision. Yep, there it is. The Queen of Swords is also Libra, uh, but also um, uh, Gemini and Aquarius in this reading. So we have um, the Knight of Cups. Yeah, it is about something romantic. Look, if you, I feel like you're waiting on this person to text you. You're waiting for this person to pursue you. You're waiting for somebody else to take charge of the situation. And if the situation doesn't feel good to you, my friend, it's time for you to liberate yourself. It's time for you to say something. You need to be honest. This is, you know, we've got... We've got the eight swords here. We've got nine with Libra. And now the queen holds the 10th sword. It is up to you to end the situation if it's making you feel uncomfortable. If somebody is making you wait on the communication, and I feel like they are. We've got the, we've got the, um, we've got the Knight of Cups pointing into the future, but we've got the, the Page of Wands pointing into the past, which makes me feel like the queen, you're the damn queen, right? Feminine or masculine. You're the top dog. You're the one who's waiting. For someone else to get back to you. You don't wait for someone else to get back to you. You're the queen. You're the one that calls the shots. So I feel like it's time to get out of the Eight of Swords. It's time to end this cycle of waiting. And uh, I feel like you're waiting for someone to, to, to tell you their feelings. Or tell you that they love you. But I think that this person is off to the future to do something completely different. And you've been waiting for justice to come in. You've been waiting for them to call you. I think that you need to talk to them. The Knight of Swords isn't waiting around for anybody. That's the one that's seizing the moment. It's going to be honest and direct. I'm going to move forward and I'm going to tell you exactly what I think. So I feel like you're going to probably talk to this person first and say, look, you're dealing with a queen. Halfway to the Empress here. You're dealing with the queen. I give you stability. I give you money. I give you a stable pentacle world. And I think these are the kinds of things that you're going to say to this person that I'm a good catch. You absolutely are. Look at you. You're also a spiritual leader. You take care of other people. You give other people, you give of yourself willingly to other people. You're on a spiritual path and I don't think this other person is. I think that they're on this path. They're more concerned with their cups and where they're going to where they're going to get their cups from than they are about you. So it's time you made a decision. And I think it's it's coming up. I think you are going to make the decision. I think that you've been hanging there with that Ace of Cups. Uh, you probably offered this Ace of Cups to them and they're still looking at it. They haven't given you an answer. It's time for you to realize your worth and it's time for you to get a long go. Yep. Give yourself the beautiful gift of justice. Talk to this person or don't. Maybe just take your foot off the gas and be quiet about it, right? We saw 10 swords. It ends the way you want it to end, my friend. You can do that by being quiet. You can do that by being terrible. You can do that by, you know, telling them, look, I feel like you stabbed me in the back. Whatever it is, it's coming to an end. So this thing, whatever 
whatever um, uh, message you're waiting for is not coming from them. You're the one who's going to have to approach them. All right. Scorpio. Here we are, Scorpio. Thank you so much for all the views and attention on my videos. I appreciate you so, so much. In so much that I think I did a bonus for you last week, didn't I? You guys are getting great with your views. Thank you. And if you haven't subscribed, I hope that you will. Let's take a look at Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, my psychic friends. I'm also a psychic friend. I'm a Pisces moon. And uh, I am connected to a Scorpio like that. Always. I'm always going to pick out the Scorpio in the room, especially if they're a masculine. <laughs> I could just look at a masculine and know they have Scorpio energy. <laughs> <laughs> I am a seeker of Scorpio energy. <laughs> All right, here we go. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's talk about Scorpio for this week. Sneak peek for this week for Scorpio, please. Tell me about Scorpio. All right, what are you looking at? We've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Something you're working on. You're going over the details of something here. What should I do? I'm the magician. What, which of the aces should I use? I feel like you've been, I feel like you're very highly critical of yourself. You're very highly critical of yourself, but I want to say that in being critical of yourself, I think the decision that you make here after doing all the hard work and looking over the self is I think that you've realized your worth. I love it. You've realized that you are the one who's in charge, Scorpio. You've got all the aces in hand and you can do whatever you want with those aces. You can decide to take a path of love, Ace of Cups, or decide to take a path of pentacle worth, uh, investing somewhere, Ace of Pentacles, right? The Ace of Swords, maybe you need to make a conversation or the Ace of Wands, use your passions. We have the uh, Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups is a bit of confusion, emotional confusion, overwhelm possibly, but also it can be an illusion, right? That I think that you're going over the details of the self because you want to make sure that you're good with you, that it's almost like you're checking one last look in the mirror before you go out to do something. It feels like it's like a, a wish fulfillment. I want to say that if it is that you are being critical of yourself, sort of making sure when you look in the mirror that what you see is actually what's there, it's being self-aware, right? I feel like you, whatever you have decided that you want also wants you. It's almost like you're readying yourself for a moment, like taking one last look in the mirror before you go. Tell me what's coming up here. Scorpio. Yeah, you're going on this new path of passion. So my friend, you've decided that the Ace of Wands, we just spoke of them, that you are going to use the Ace of Wands to go after something that makes your heart full of passion. And it could be the Empress, I'm just saying, or it's abundance. Take it as it, as it resonates. The Empress is quite abundant and is also the person who, who is um, a great mother, a great father, F feminine or masculine, right? The empresses are feminine leaning, understand? But there's also masculine energy here. So I do know um, uh, empresses that are masculines. Yeah, em em that are men that are, are empresses. So take it as it resonates. But I feel like I want to say that what the illusion is here is that there's an illusion. You wonder if this person wants it as much as you want it. And uh, the, the Ace of Wands is your decision to go after what you want. And because the Magician is here, I'm going to say that whatever you want, wants you. So I'm going to say the answer is yes. But I feel like the, the illusion here, you're like, am I fooling myself? Does the Empress really want me? I think they do. I think whatever you want, wants you, my friend. I think that whatever you have been dreaming about as it pertains to the Empress energy, whether that is for you abundance, children, family, or a person uh, who could be Taurus or Libra, take it as it resonates, uh, a Venusian sign, I feel like whatever you want, wants you. There it is. <coughs> Pardon me. We've got a new connection here. A new connection with the Empress. I feel that you have feelings for the Empress. It feels like you're going to send a message. Um, you're thinking about opening up a new path of passion with this person. I think you're very attracted to them. And uh, I feel like this, this page of cups is telling me that there already is an emotional connection here. 
Now you could be wanting to do the pop-up. I'm just saying nobody likes the pop-up, but if you're going to be doing the pop-up, <laughs> maybe you will if you're close enough to do that for them. But I feel like what there is going to be involved here is um, an apology. Yeah. And um, tell me why the apology, if that's what it is. Tell me why the apology is here for the Empress. It feels like you want to apologize to the Empress for being caught up in the Seven of Cups, for being caught up in the illusion of maybe you weren't enough. But I feel like you've gone over all the details now and you are enough and you realize it. And that's why the Ace of Wands is here, because now you feel confident enough to go get the abundance. We have the Devil. We have the lovers in reverse, yeah. And we have the page of swords. So it's all about you. It's all about you wondering if you're enough. Yeah. So we have the the uh, the devil and we have the, the lovers in reverse. And so when the lovers is in the reverse, it's like you're questioning it. Is this really, is this empress really my, my wish fulfillment? Are they the person who, who sees me as their soulmate? I feel like you're scared to hear the answer. I feel like the devil energy is here casting doubt. It's casting doubt. You were always enough. You were always enough. You know it. You've gone over the details. You've you've worked on yourself so hard with all this self-mastery that you're more than enough. Or you wouldn't be attracting the empress. Understand that when we manifest, that you are manifesting what you are, not what you want. And if you are manifesting the empress, you are certainly the emperor. Absolutely. You're going over the details. Am I, am I, do I have enough worth? Absolutely you do. Or you wouldn't be attracting the empress. The empress wouldn't be calling you in. So I think that you, you have some doubt as to whether this really is a, a lifelong soulmate connection. And I think it is. Uh, we have the page of swords and I feel like you've been watching somebody here. And so I feel because you've been watching them and not necessarily taking action. I think that you're about to take action on the Empress here. Yep, there it is. There's the other ace, my friend. You're about to, to, to use these aces, right? You know that you, you have all the aces in hand. You're about to have a conversation about this cup that possibly the Empress offered you way back there. And um, you're not really sure where you want to go next. You're at the crossroads of your life. But I feel like you're going to bite the bullet and go. And it feels like you're not exactly sure. You know you're at the crossroads. You're not exactly sure what you want. But I feel like somebody here offered you a cup or you offered it to them. And I feel like it's still in play. This person has never taken their eye off it, or you've never taken your eye off the Empress, or the thought of being with the Empress. I feel like there's going to be conversation about this. The Empress may have offered you love back there, and you may have just nothing did. You may have nothing to the Empress. You may Maybe you didn't see the worth of the Empress. And it probably is understand that we project on each other all the time. So if you weren't feeling your worth back then, then you probably didn't see the worth of the Empress at that time. So, it, you know, it's it's not a bad thing. I'm just saying it, it's all about learning, right? We have the two of wands in the reverse. So being at the crossroads, but not sure what you're going to do. I think you're going to bite the bullet and go. I think you're going to risk having your heart broken. I think you're going to, you're going to Rambo it here. <laughs> I feel like you're, I feel, I watch a lot of Casper sight. <laughs> so he's Ramboing everything. Rambo it, man. <laughs> I hear Casper sight's voice in my head. Um, and uh, we have the strength card, right? Which is courage. Uh, it is Leo energy. It's about, um, it's about holding back, right? It's about knowing that you have the power, but holding it back. So I feel like you're going to be courageous. I feel like you're going to give somebody, um, uh, reciprocity here you're going to find the courage to do it but I want to say that the empress is expecting you it's been silent between you and the empress but I feel like the empress is expecting you my friend or the uh em the emperor is expecting to uh speak with the empress take it as it resonates all right all right Sagittarius, my Sagittarius family. I'm Sag Rising. Thank you so much for clicking here. And thank you, thank you for all of your, your, your views on my videos. Thank you so much. I hope you're subscribed. I hope you'll decide to stay. We'd love to be in the comments. So thank you for doing that. I am uh, looking at this week for you, your sneak peek for this week's uh, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me what's coming up, please. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Sag energy this week. Okay. Well, we've got two there. It kind of reminds me of a heart, you know, when you do this. 
and it makes a heart. And that's what that kind of reminds me of. So we've got the, the Ten of Cups in the reverse. We have uh, the Seven of Pentacles. So there seems to be some waiting, some growing. The Ten of Cups is in the reverse. Learning lessons here. Page of Pentacles. It feels like you're unsure of a long-term relationship or whether this is going to make it the distance. I want to say whether or not it makes the distance, you're unsure. So I feel like what you want to do is start something in the 3D or send a message to somebody. Or maybe someone's going to send a message to you. You're waiting because you're unsure of the outcome here. Are we really together? I want to say that the Ten of Cups in the reverse is giving questions of, are we really together? Is this really a relationship? This has been going on for quite some time in your readings, um, uh, Sag. It's like you're not really sure if this is if this is the one. You're waiting for it to materialize in the 3D. Eight of Cups. It feels like it's off and on with somebody here. That somebody keeps coming in and walking away and coming in and walking away. You're waiting for growth. Three of Pentacles. Tell me more. So you might be in disconnection with somebody or maybe the communication isn't very good with you. Um, just listening. We've got nine pentacles all together here. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine pentacles all together here. I want to say that it's on again, off again with somebody, that you're really unsure of whether this is the Ten of Cups because this person, it's like they go off the grid for a little bit. I want to say that when they go off the grid, they're off looking for two other cups. It's like they're not sure if they want to be with you or not, and you can feel that. You're waiting for confirmation in the 3D. You're waiting for something to transpire or grow from this friendship into love, but it feels like it's stuck at this friend's situation here that we are we are friends we know each other we're friends of friends you might even be dating this person um and i feel like you are feeling every once in a while you feel disconnected from this person because i feel like they're dragging their heels or they're waiting it's like they haven't picked a path yet the seeds of intention right the seven of pentacles is about throwing your seeds of intention before you can grow anything you have to plant the seeds but first before you can plant the seeds you have to pick a plan Right, You have to find a path and pick a plan and intentionally sow those seeds in order to grow something. You can't just hang out with them in your hand and wondering if it's going to work out. But it feels like here that somebody hasn't picked a path. They haven't, they haven't chosen you yet. And I feel like this person comes in and out of your life. And it makes you feel in the Five of Pentacles like you're on the outside looking in. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Knight of Swords, and we have the Ace of Swords. We have the Ace of Pentacles now in the future. I think that you are going to have the talk or a talk with somebody this week. The Queen of Wands is the person who does their own thing, right? This person is blessed by the universe. You can see that they, they have all the bright ideas, right? The sun is shining on them. They're growing all the time. I feel like that is you right? This is Sagittarian energy. I feel like you are the person who's good on your own. I feel like you are growing. I feel like you are beautiful. I feel like people notice you wherever you go because you're very beautiful. Um, I also want to say that it's you that I think is going to be the person who is going to seize the moment here, that you're the person who's going to be very direct, very honest, and you might even do it in an impulsive way. When some, I feel like the person who keeps coming in and out of your life that you're going to sit them down and say, look, What's going on? I need to know, do we have this life contract or do we not? I need to speak with you. The key is here, right? You're the only one that has the key. You're the only one that can open up the conversation. Because I don't think this is other person is opening up the conversation. I don't think that they want to settle down, that they keep coming in and out of your life. Like I feel like the Eight of Cups tells me they leave. 
And then, you know, they come back, they leave, they come back. We sometimes I feel like we're friends. Sometimes I feel like we're lovers. And I feel like you're about to get some uh, some very honest communication or you're about to open some very honest communication of are you investing in me or are you not? Because I think that what's at stake here is the 10 cups. You're unsure about whether this person wants a long term relationship with you or even whether they want to invest in the relationship that they're in at this point. So I feel like you already know that this person is someone who may move on if you speak with them, um, even though that you are abundant and you are. Uh, together, you are um, solid. I feel like you take care of yourself and others. I feel like you're very charitable and lovely. I feel like you are waiting for this person to come by and give you a decision or you want to talk with them. And uh, it feels like that there's silence at this time right now. Your person is an emperor, I feel. And that person is someone who's standing their ground. Um, I think that they know that you're the soulmate, but they're kind of standing their ground like they're really not sure what they want to do. And I feel that they come in and out of your life because you allow it. Because you haven't yet said anything, but I do believe that you are about to say something. Tell me about the moon and the ace of pentacles. Yep. Yeah, they're hurting your feelings. They're hurting you. They're hurting you. And I feel like you're you're about to tell them, look, I need an answer. Are you investing in me or are you not? The moon energy is here. You don't know what's going on. You can't see what's coming, but it's very emotional for you. You know your worth. You are the empress. We have the two queens here. That's what told me that we we're halfway to the empress. And uh, I feel like you're you're about to tell them, look, you're hurting me. Are we ending it? Is this the beginning or is this the end? When will I see you again? Um, that's the fifth dimension sings that song. Are we in love or just friends? Is it the beginning or is it the end? Yeah, that's what it feels like. When will I see you again? So I feel like there's going to be this week. Uh, I feel like you're going to open up the conversation. Maybe someone else will. Um, but I feel like you're going to be opening up the conversation because you're tired of waiting. Like you're tired of waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. I think that it's all waiting. I feel like finally something is going to move. But I think that you're going to have to have a, you're going to have to stand your ground with the emperor in order to get your answers. And it might not be the answer that you want. I'm just saying, maybe it won't be, right? All right, let's take a look at Capricorn. Capricorn, thank you so much for all your views on my last video. I appreciate you. And uh, I'm here to do your sneak peek for this week, Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Capricorn, please. What is coming up for Capricorn? If you would like a private reading, Capricorn, please look below this video. You'll see the link that says more. Click on that. It'll open up a panel. You'll see that there's a link to Wizio. My email address is there as well. And um, my readings there begin at $40 talk about Capricorn. It's coming up this week. We've got the Nine of Cups. Good place to start. Happiness, parties, possibly. We have Pentacles, the Knight of Pentacles. It's taken a long while to get to here. Maybe it's, it, you've been, you know, kind of keeping to yourself for a bit here. It feels like it's you're coming out of something that has taken a long while to get to your happiness, to get to wish fulfillment, to get to emotional happiness. It's been a long while since you've been emotionally happy. We have the seven of pentacles in the reverse. You just don't want to wait to be happy anymore. I, I get it. Yeah. I want to say that you're going to be very social. We've got the, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck here. Things You're in flux. I want to say things are changing. There's about to be some big changes coming in your life and, and you are very much in flux here. The thing is, is when you ask the universe for wish fulfillment for the nine of cups, when you ask the, the universe for that, when you pray for it or ask for it, I feel like the universe starts switching things around, right? This box goes in that closet, that closet has to be cleaned out. We got to throw away these things like it's like purging for the for the change of the season. So I want to say that 
you know, first of all, careful what you ask for, but in order to get the things that you want right now, I feel like the universe is, is in on making some really big changes in your life. Now, these changes can be a little erratic, right? Because they come like that. It's like without notice, these, these changes are here. It's divine timing, and these are faded changes. So I feel like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune tells me that things are about to get really fortunate, that you're asking for the Nine of Cups right now, and I feel like things are about to get really fortunate, but first got to go through the hard stuff. We all do. It's the darkest before the dawn. And if you want the happiness, you got to go through the hard stuff. And that's the truth of it. Life isn't always happy. It's it's this, right? We're riding the wave constantly. It's been a long time since you've been happy. And I feel like now you're making your own happiness. You're not waiting for anyone to bring you the damn pentacle. You're not waiting for anybody to bring you an opportunity or an offer. I feel like the magician tells me that you've realized of your worth. That you are the magician. That whatever you decide to manifest will show up in this 3D world if you are willing to take the change that comes along with it. And uh, with any any new beautiful happy nine of cups situation there is going to be change so i think that you've taken control with all of your tools and you've you you're now in control of your own happiness you're not leaving it up to anyone else anymore i love it you have realized your worth it's beautiful you know you're loving this is venusian right uh taurus and and uh, libra are the venusian signs in the zodiac they represent love and kindness I feel like you have been getting downloads lately and I feel like those downloads, if they haven't come, they're coming right away because the seven of pentacles is like no more waiting, no more waiting. You've waited long enough. It's time for, you know, you can see that the top of her head is glowing, right? She's receiving information from the universe. I feel like the information you're receiving is that you are enough Capricorn. You've always been enough. And I feel like this shows up just to remind you how truly powerful you are. Look, the magician and the empress. The empress is the one who's the co-creator with the universe. Whether you're making children or a life or you're creating things for other people, it, it feels like you're the person that people come to for advice. You're the solid one, the sturdy one, the balanced one. And um, the magician here, Aries energy, tells me that they also see you as a leader. They see you as a leader who has all the power, the person who can do anything they want and bring any sort of happiness that they want, that you want. People are watching you do it, I feel. We have the sun. I love it. It's so beautiful. Capricorn, you've done something in your life that you never did before. And I always say that you always get what you always got if you don't do anything different, right? I think you've done something different. I wanna say that you've had a breakthrough, a breakthrough about your worth, a breakthrough about, no, I'm I'm the empress. I'm the one who who is the one with all of the tools. I'm the magician. I'm I'm the captain of the ship. I will do what I want. And what I want is happiness. I feel like it's a breakthrough moment for you. Um, you are um, stable. I feel like whatever is that's going on that's given you this breakthrough has also given you stability and the realization that you're strong, that you you have the magic. You finally have decided to look at it that way, that you have the magic. You've walked away from something. You had some sort of realization about your worth, and I feel like you've emotionally disconnected from someone or something. And you went on a new path. You've took the higher ground. Good for you. I feel like you just took your foot off the gas in some sort of situation that didn't serve you, whether that's a job or a relationship or somebody in your family. I feel like with the two of wands here, we're saying that there's, you know, that you're about ready to fly. You're on your own path now. You're at the crossroads of your life. You've had this, it feels like a, a, a realization of growth. And, you know, the growth is personal, professional in your career. It's it's uh, spiritual. And I feel like all of this energy here, this really positive, um, upstanding energy, it's like a realization that, nah, brah, you can't, you can't make me wait for what I want. I will take what I want because I'm the empress. I can create anything that I want in this world. I can create anything that I want. So I feel like you decided to disconnect from someone and you're at the crossroads of your life, but you're taking the higher ground. Where are you going from here, Capricorn? 
what is it you're not waiting for? The Six of Cups, you're done with some sort of a soulmate. Um, or you're questioning as to whether you even have a soulmate out there or not. We have the World card. Yeah, you ended it with a soulmate. There's somebody here that was your soulmate. I feel like you were right. I feel like this person was your soulmate, but I feel like this person did you dirty. Yeah. The Six of Cups in the reverse tells me that there is a soulmate here that did you dirty. The, the, I feel like all the, all the love has poured out of those cups. That you no longer have love for someone. That you closed the door. You moved on. You had a realization of your worth and you moved on. Your person could be Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, or Leo. But I feel like you are never going back there. And you're never going to allow someone to treat you any less than your worth. It's a really big decision. I think it was a decision that changed your life. I think it's huge. Yep. Yeah. It was inspired. So you were listening to the universe, and that's why the, the crown of the empress is lit up. You were listening to the universe, and so you are the one who decided to move away or move forward. You made a big decision to close the door, possibly on a king of wands. King of wands is Aries Sagittarius Leo, um, but also the king of wands is someone who goes after the passions of their heart. So it could be somebody who you are very uh, connected to in a passionate way. It could be a, a Virgo. It could be uh, someone who is Virgo, maybe with fire in the chart. Um, we have uh, Virgo here as well, Virgo and uh, Piscean energy. So I feel like you ended something in favor of yourself. And I think it's grand. I think it's lovely. I think you've got this moment of Eureka here. Um, we've got the Knight of Wands and we've got the Ten the Ten of Swords, you're never going to let this Knight of, never let any Knight of Wands into your life again, ever. That's the realization. That's the Eureka moment that you've ended it with the Knight of Wands, someone who possibly stepped out on the relationship, cheated on you, or is coming in and out of your life as they wanted, and you're just not dealing with that anymore. You're moving on. Yeah. And I think you're now listening to your, your intuition. And I think there's complete and total silence with you and the person that you walked away from. All right. Good for you. I like it. I like it. All right. Come on now. There we go. <clears throat> okay. Aquarius. Thank you for all your attention on my last video, Aquarius. I appreciate you. Thank you for the thumbs up and being in the comments. I appreciate you for that. Let's take a look at your sneak peek for this week, Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising. Venus and Jupiter. Jeez, cards are all over. My hands are not really shuffling properly today. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at it. This is your sneak peek for this week, my friend. If you are interested in a private read, please look below this video. There is a link that says more with that video or that link. And it will give you a link over to Wizio, which is where you can book me beginning at $40. Tell me about it. Tell me about Aquarius. What's this? Something flipped over here. All right, taking the higher ground. Could be dealing with a Cancer. We've got some quick moving energy here. Something that's moving fast. Something that's moving fast towards you, uh, Aquarius, but I think that you're about to hold your ground on something here. Because I think you're taking the higher ground, and that's why you're holding ground. You're like, no, you can come at me as fast as you want. Could be a Cancer, someone who hasn't yet shown you that they have feelings on the surface, but they keep coming in and out of your life. I feel like somebody's sort of barreling toward you here that feels like they're going to get the victory with you. You're going to think on it, though. Yeah. And I think you're going to think deep on it. I think you need to do more research. We've got the Page of Swords, and the Page of Swords is Aquarius energy, right? It's it's like getting to the bottom of things, like really to the bottom of things. That you are going to take the higher ground, but you're going to learn more. You're gonna you're gonna respond. You're not going to react. I feel like you're you're going to dig for more information, more knowledge. You need to have a a better idea of what's going on here as it pertains to this uh, chariot that is kind of barreling towards you here. Tell me about this. Or Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Tell me about Aquarius. Hmm. 
Hmm. Look, you're never going to get balance with the devil. No. I think you're about to, um, you're about to liberate yourself, my friend. Yeah. I feel like the person that's coming towards you is someone who has always had their feelings under the surface, but they are charging at you. And I think you will hear from them or see them soon. Uh, the Queen of Swords has got her heart all in this little jail down here, right? She's ready for making conversation. She's ready to tell somebody exactly how she feels. I say she because there's a woman on the card, but this is masculine and feminine energy. I feel like you're ready to look the devil right in the eyes. I think, and I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that Cancer is the devil. I don't think Capricorn is either, but the energy of the devil is doubt, fear, making you think that you're not enough. Uh, you know, it's, it's gaslighting. It's, uh, could possibly be narcissistic sort of attitude. It doesn't have, I'm not a doctor. I'm not diagnosing anyone, but you know, the, the sort of the game player, the one who's playing with your mind. And I think you're ready for him this time. I think you're ready for the devil. I think you're ready for, uh, for the, the games that this person who's barreling at you plays with you. And I think you're about to liberate yourself. So I think you're going to take the higher ground. And I think you're going to come in with the queen of swords and you're going to say, look, stand back. I've got something to say. You're going to stare the devil in the face and just say, look, I'm the one that's in charge here. And I, I can't let you just pull my heart out of this little jail anytime that you want to play with it and, 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 you know, toss it around. I'm not going to do that anymore. I think it's been hard for you to cut away something that has been obsessed. You've been obsessively thinking about or obsessively trying to find an, a, a, a solution for obsessive thoughts about what you're going to say. I feel like you're, the reason that you're, that you're kind of in this energy of, of having, it's almost like you have conversations with this person in your head and what you're going to say to them when they arrive, because you know that they're going to arrive. You know there's going to be a time when they're going to come back. And this person, I feel, is someone who is shady. Like they, they I feel, want all the, all the benefits of being in a relationship without having to, um, without having to be solid for you, without having to be in a relationship. got justice. I feel like you're going to get justice. The Queen of Swords is Libra as well. And uh, we have justice here. So we have, um, I feel like karmic justice is, I feel like you're going to tell this person exactly what you think of them. I think you're, you've, you've come to some sort of information that's super toxic. Something's about to be revealed to you or has already been revealed to you. You may have already tripped across it. Something that's super toxic about this person. And I think that when this person arrives, you're holding up the sword and saying, no, nope, I can't do this with you. Tell me about um, the uh, page of swords and the devil. So on the surface, it looks like happiness. It's a realization. It's a realization that you've been hurt enough. You've been hurt enough. It's time for you to take charge. It's uh, the sun is here. And so I feel like the sun gives clarity to everything. And the clarity that you're getting here is that I don't need the cancer. I don't need the Capricorn. What I need is to realize my happiness, that I can be happiness. I can be full of happiness and I can be whole within myself. I don't need a plus one. I don't need a partner. I can travel. I can see friends. I can take on, you know, some sort of a volunteer position. I can, I can do anything that I want. I can learn to skate. I can learn to ski. Like it feels like your happiness is within you and it's always been there, but the sun is here now. And so it's telling you that it's time for you to maybe take action on the things that make you happy happy. It's Leo energy. And Leo is like, go, 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 go. Right. And um, we have the nine of wands. It feels like you're just really exhausted playing this mind game. You're playing this mind game with somebody who is, who keeps charging in and out of your life. Tell me about this, this uh, chariot, please. I think you're ready for this person this time. You're not going to let them in. I feel like you're, you're holding ground. You're not going to let them in. You're going to stop them at the door. 
and you're going to say, before you get in here, there's a few things that we need to talk about. And if you're not willing to talk about them, then it is what it is. Yeah, this person's coming in for a reunion here, Aquarius. I feel like they want to take you out. It's the holiday season. They might show up with a gift. Do you know what I mean? They might show up being really happy. Um, I feel like they're they're showing up and telling you, look, I've changed. My feelings have changed. I was overwhelmed before, but this time I choose you, right? That person's choosing a specific, a specific person, but I don't think you're letting them pass the door, honestly. I don't think you're letting them pass the door. Um, your person could be Scorpio, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. We have Libra here. We have Capricorn. We have Cancer. I want to say that you're closing the door on this. I don't think you're going to take the invitation. I think that this person is too wishy-washy. I feel like they throw all these illusions at you and expect you to believe it. But I feel like you're cutting through the bullshit with the Queen of Swords. I don't think you're dealing with it anymore. You need balance. And I think that's what you want. And you're tired of the head games. You've realized that you can be happy by yourself, that you don't necessarily need a plus one. And honestly, I really think that this person is a test for you because I think they're very sexy. I think they're very attractive. I think you're very attractive to them and their energy and I think it's seductive I want to say that this person calls you into sed seduction and then I think that you don't get any balance after that tell me about justice yeah and I, I feel like um, your abundance um, I feel like the, the karmic justice you're getting here, sweetheart, is that you're you're abundant. You see your worth. You know you're abundant. You're financially stable. You are sturdy. You're someone, when you're in a relationship, you're solid. You're, you're Aquarius, right? You're the person who is never going to turn your back on the person as long as they never turn their back on you. You're really solid. And I feel like there is an opportunity coming for love, but I think it isn't the person that's coming in here. I think you're ending it with this person that keeps coming in and out of your life. And I feel like, you know, it's going to take a while but I feel like there is some love coming and you're just going to have to be patient um, because the, the the knight of pentacles is the one who travels the slowest yeah I think that you need to get out more that you're you're bored with sitting home sitting alone sitting in in this redundant energy the four of cups in the reverse is like I'm done with this I'm done with sitting around I feel like you need to be more social you need to get yourself into some you know if you're single into some singles groups uh you need to you know do the things that you've never done before and uh, I feel like you need to find people to do it with people who love you right people who are in the cups energy about you I think that you've realized that you can be happy by yourself and you don't have to be overworked and exhausted and being hurt all the time playing these head games with this um with this person who you know is giving you nothing but the devil energy I feel like you've worked on yourself and now you're going to invest in yourself I feel like the next relationship you find is going to be a friendship it's going to start as a friendship and it's going to grow into love all right I feel like that person's coming at you this week and I feel like you're going to have to make that hard decision and it's not going to be an easy one because I feel like you're you have an attachment right the devil's here you have an attachment or a codependency on this person and you don't want to let them go but they're not good for your life they are in fact the devil they're toxic all right Pisces this is you Sun, moon, rising, Venus and Jupiter, my Pisces friends. I am a Pisces moon. Thank you so much for clicking here. I appreciate you. And thank you for all of your views on my last video. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for doing all of that and being in the comments. I appreciate you. Let's talk about you this week, Pisces. Your sneak peek for this week, Pisces. If you're interested in a private read, please look below this video. There is a link that says more. Click that link and it will open up a panel that will show you uh, a link to Wizio if that's where you want to go, if that's what you want to do. And uh, my readings there begin at $40. Let's talk about Pisces this week. Sneak peek for this week. Ooh, temperance. I like it. Healing, balance. It's a moment of alchemy for what? We've got the Ten of Swords. Okay, you're healing from an ending. Some sort of an ending here. And it would have been painful. It feels like you didn't want it to end, but it ended. And I feel like you you thought that this person was different than what they were. But the truth of the matter is, is that it had to come to an end because it wasn't for you. You were going the wrong way. We've got uh, the Five of Cups in the reverse. 
So we have uh, the healing here has brought you to a place of no more regrets. I can't regret this ending anymore. If this wasn't for me, the universe, the universe will only bring it to an end, will move someone literally out of your way, Pisces, if they are not a good thing for you. So if something has recently ended for you, something that you didn't want to end, it may have ended quickly, like you didn't expect that it was going to end, but it did. I feel like this is a temperance is being given to you so you can get the balance and the healing that you need so you can no longer feel in regret the five of cups being in the reverse no longer feeling sad about this ending or healing from that i don't think that you're completely healed this week but i feel feel like you're willing to be healed uh the ten of cups i think that you thought that there was going to be the ten of cups with this person we have the uh, the Eight of Pentacles. You worked really hard. I want to say that you're the only person who worked on it, Pisces. You were the only person that worked on trying to get this person to realize that, you know, that they could have something really beautiful with you, that you would make a beautiful home, that you would, that you would uh, cater and love and dote. And, you know, if they had any children or you have any children, maybe joining our families under one roof, I think you really worked really hard on that but I don't think it worked out the way you wanted it to and I'm really sorry um we have Sagittarius energy here I feel like you you immediately go into the healing of self we've got the eight of pentacles here you start working on you healing the self we have the page of swords in the reverse yeah you know what I think that you realize or you find out that somebody's smack talking you or talking behind your back. So this could be a friendship. This could be a love ship. Take it as it resonates. But I feel with the page of swords in the reverse, it feels like somebody speaks at a line. Look, the pages are young. So I feel like there's an age gap here or somebody's really immature with their words or they're very loose with their words. And so I feel like that you realize that this person is talking about you. Tell me what this uh, ten of swords is here. Uh, so it could be either you were in a relationship with this person that came to an end or they ended it. Feels like it was a terrible ending. Very hurtful, very sad. It feels almost like someone was talking behind your back, that someone had, yeah, stuck a knife in your back. That's what it feels like. We have the Nine of Swords. You were worried that this was coming to an end. See, you know what? I think your, your knowing was going off the hook. I think that your, your intuition was telling you already that this person was saying something about you. You were worrying about it. You were worried that they were pointing and laughing behind your back. And I think it ends up that you're right because the Page of short Swords shows up in the reverse here. We have the Ace of Cups. You were really in love. You were very much in love with this person. And I think they're laughing behind your back at you. We have the Three of Pentacles. I think that you two were friends before you were lovers, before you fell in love or got into a relationship, and so you thought you could trust them. We could be talking about a friend. Maybe there's a friend who you love as family who is talking behind your back. And I feel like this person, you've ended it with them because you're no longer dealing with this. I feel like you're trying to heal from that right now. The three, the three of Pentacles is the friends or friends of a friend. I feel like this is a friend that you really loved. Or this is uh, someone who you were dating or living with and you were really in love with them. But then you find out something. And I think that that thing is, is that they were talking with other friends behind your back. I think you already knew it though. It's a knowing, I think. Tell me about the Page of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Swords. So this person was saying, look, Pisces can't make up their mind. Pisces is leading me on. Pisces is, is stringing me along. They're not making a decision about whether they want me or not. It, it feels like that. It feels like it maybe, you know, it's it feels like we move in together, but maybe we're not getting married or maybe there's no, there's no um, commitment. That's what it feels like. But somebody's blaming it on you, Pisces. They're saying to other people, Pisces can't make up their mind. And that's the problem. We have the Queen of Cups. Oh, but I was in love with Pisces. I was in love with Pisces and they wouldn't make a decision as to whether they wanted to get into it any deeper with me. Uh, this person is lying about you. They're telling someone that you didn't have the same feelings that they had. Um, 
we have the lovers. Yeah, they're like, oh, I love Pisces. I, this person is my soulmate, but this person is someone who couldn't make a decision as to whether they loved me or not. Take it as it resonates. Flip it. Maybe it's someone here who didn't want the commitment with you, who wanted to play house. Ten of Cups. They wanted to play house, but they didn't want the commitment with you. Even though you are a soulmate and they knew it, they couldn't make the decision as to whether they wanted to be with you. So they start smack talking you to other people. I feel like um, that you're you're going to heal from this. And I'm sorry if this is what you went through, um, but you're going to heal from this. We've got the Eight of Pentacles. You're already working on yourself in the self-mastery because you don't want to live in this regret forever. We've got the Five of Pentacles. You disconnect completely from this person. We've got the Seven of Swords because they're a liar. Yeah, they certainly are lying on you. They are a liar. Look, rejection is protection. And if this person ended this thing, Pisces, it's because, they, because the universe moved them out of the way. They were not for you. We have the King of Swords. <laughs> yeah. I want to say that that I feel like the next time that you speak with them, you're going to be very direct. Um, because I really do feel like they're probably coming back for a conversation. You're going to be honest. You're going to be direct. Um, I feel like it's, it's, it's going to come off as being brave and courageous that you're just going to say, look, you just need to get out of my life. I know what you're doing. Like, I think that you already have this knowing. I'm not telling you anything you don't already know. You've been feeling it in your gut that somebody's been talking about you behind your back. But you know what? There's a king of cups coming. Yeah, there's more love coming for you. Somebody who really does understand um, the depth of your love. We have the, the seven of cups here and we have the ace of swords. It's like after the illusion is gone, you have this moment of clarity. The eureka moment, right? You have this moment of clarity. And if this is you right? We've got the King of Cups. We've got a soulmate coming in. So I feel like that there is somebody coming in here and you realize that you are the magician and that you can do anything that you want, my friend. We have uh, the Queen of Pentacles. We have the Five of Wands and we have the Strength card. So you're beating yourself up over this whole thing falling apart. But I want to tell you that, that this person is out of your life for a reason because they are, they are nasty. They are someone who's a liar. They are someone who's talking about you when you're not in the room um, and uh, talking about you to other people. And I think you fi finally figure this out. So I feel like you're going to be courageous and not blame yourself about it. We've got the five of cups in the reverse, which tells me no more regrets. We've got the queen of pentacles and the magician. I feel like you're just going to go ahead and make a lot of money that you're going to work on yourself, work on your pentacle world. And that's where you're putting all of your energy because you've got all the aces in hand. You can do whatever you want. Yeah. All right. I'm going to leave that there. Thank you so much for coming and watching. I appreciate you. I'll be back, of course, during the week with your specific readings for your sign. I love you, Pisces. Thank you so much for coming here. And if you made it up to here, even if you're not a Pisces, thank you for doing that. I'm going to go for now. Love you guys. I'm out. Bye-bye.